Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I have a Patreon request for Snato Asuka. With a song called X Marks the Spot. There's just one thing, man. It's like... The band itself, like... I don't... I can't really listen to them anymore. It's not a band that... Like... Especially their later stuff. I just can't do it. Like... I got a bit of backstory, so... This band was like, um... I've seen this band like 10, 12, 13, 14 times, whatever, like a lot of times, right? Like a lot of times throughout the years, it should be so. And they slowly got worse and worse. That They went into uni, then they did the next one and the next one and the next one, and it just got horrendous. And it made me, and it made me, made them go from my favorite band, or one of my favorite bands, into absolute dog shit. And it's just, it makes me sad whenever I listen to them now. So this one, I might break it down. I might not. I don't know just yet. This is a Patreon request, so I can't skip it like I would normally if somebody else would request it. So, yeah. There'll be no lyrics on screen or anything to this if I do break it down. We're going to give it a go. We're going to see. It's probably going to be terrible to my ears, but we'll find out. So, yeah, man. Let's go. I was in a really dark place. I even thought of packing it in, but I just could not bring myself to do it. I met an old friend that I had a real connection with, and he saw my despair. He asked me if I'd like to play with him, and as we played, I felt slowly but surely, rock and roll grabbed me by the neck, and I went. You are a man of impeccable taste, and you know well the X marks the spot. We all need a map for the trail of your thought. Where to go? Well, the X marks the spot. What the actual F is this, man? I don't even know what this is. I don't know, man. Like, no, it's literally, what is that? No, I'm not even, like, exaggerating at this point, man. Like, literally, what the F is that? It sounds nothing like the band I ever used to like, man. It's just so bad now. Like, I don't even know how to describe it, so. Let's see. It, the intro and the first don't even make coherent sense together. Like, I was in a really dark place, and I even I even thought of packing it in. But I just could not bring myself to do it. I met an old friend that I had a real connection with, and he saw my despair. He asked me if I'd like to play with him, and as we played, I felt slowly but surely. Rock and roll grabbed me by the neck, and I will. Then, yeah, it makes no sense going into the verse. You are a man of impeccable taste. And you know when the X marks the spot. So we went from that into pirate, into like a map, into treasure, into piracy, into something like that. At least sailing to that kind of degree. At least like doing treasure trails and that type of stuff, which makes no sense to me. We all need a map for the trail of your thought. Where to go? Well, X marks the spot. So they're kind of trying to transition that back into thoughts, back into like, need a map of your mind in order to fully understand how your mind works and that type of stuff. And it's... I don't know. What we're heaving. We would so much rather enjoy the beach beer and fire. You think something somewhere has to come right for the world? And you sign where the X marks the spot. You join a call, fill the void that you got deep within where the X marks the spot. Where you stand and talk. There's like zero passion. Like, obviously, he's singing, but there's no passion there. Not a single ounce of it. He's just singing. You know what I mean? There's a lot of lyrics to this, just so you guys know. So, we'll just try and go through it pretty quickly. So. You seem to you seem to have a misgiving. Hell yeah, you make a living. 
don't add bricks to what we're here. We said don't add like extra weight onto what we're doing. We would so much rather enjoy the beach, the beer, and the fire rather than doing what we're doing right now. We'd much rather relax and have to work and do everything else in that process. You think something somewhere has a copyright for the world? Honestly, with corporations like Disney and so many other corporations, man, basically everything is copyrighted in this world. Basically, you can copyright people, man. But it happens all the time. You've seen it from kids who basically sign their lives away, who literally just like where where kids have signed their lives away, sign the next twenty years away, and like there's people who go with X Factor around Britain's got talent and America's got talent and that type of stuff where that that contract they sign, there's a non compete clause, which means that you cannot release music until I think it's like three or four years after the show's been aired. So by the time you can release music on your own. People have already forgotten and you're irrelevant once again. So the corporations control the world. It's a fair thing. It happens. It's just the way things go. You join a cult. Fill, fill the void that you've got. Deep within where the X marks the spot somewhere. It's all just going like trying to decipher emotions and thoughts and feelings and that type of stuff. There you stand and talk and holler. How dark are all your colours? So that's it. Mental colours. When you paint another sunrise, you leave out the sun, so you're only living in darkness within depression, within whichever way you want to go. Birds like you fly straight to heaven, or they slowly float away. How well do you know those you, you, you are calling your own? I mean, come on, dude. X marks the spot. That's such a weird thing to hear in any Star Trek song. I don't even know. Your starving soul in your house of skin and bone. You are an island. The X marks the spot. Like, I get where they're going. Like, they're just making loads and loads and loads of metaphors towards the brain, and then the body being the flesh the thing holding it, and it's all kind of metaphors towards depression and darkness and finding who you are as a person and all that generic BS shit. So, like, it's really, really... It's not even done in, like, a nice way. It just feels really cringy to me. This just sounds awful. Man. Like there's no passion here. Everything is happening here. It's just music for the sake of it. This five minutes feels like it's taking an eternity to me, man. It's just sad to see how far a band I used to adore have fallen. They used to be amazing. They used to be so good at what they did. And now they, they're not. Not anymore. Like, people, like I would have preferred them to split up than to turn into whatever this is. I don't care if you like it, if you don't like it. As a person who's loved this band for a long time. A long, uh, for like a long, long time. It just saddens me to see it. Just to now see where to it's all gone to. Hey, I know bands change, I know bands try to evolve Everybody or whatever the hell you want to call it, but they're saying it, mate.
funny thing was, I was like a spiritual baby running around with diapers on where the X marks the spot. I had given my life to rock and roll, but I still wasn't sure. Was there a rock and roll? Is it real? So yeah, the song doesn't make sense. Okay. Good to know. I get what they're trying to say. And by in terms of like a meaning. Just no. Just no. But yeah, let's go. Let's let's play this as well. So the way we, the way we're gonna do this is so we just had this right. I'm gonna play the first minute of a, a song from their first ever album, their debut. What I used to think was the best debut album ever made before I heard Seven Spires. So. Freddie's vocals actually has the power behind them. He actually has a, a lot of passion. That got him worried away. You see what I mean? That his voice is more passionate about them. But I can't listen to it anymore. Even this sounds bad to me now. After what we've after what I've seen seen them turn into, I just can't listen to them anymore. Like, every song I hear by them just sounds terrible to me now. Like, it's something that I can't really listen to. It's something that I can't really enjoy anymore. It's not something that's for me. Like, they're a band that made, that disappointed my mind to such a way that I just cannot do it anymore. And so I, I avoid them for, them, for the most part. If you're going to request it Patreon-wise, then I guess you can. Because it, there's no bounds or anything, but you're not going to get a good reaction from it. It's just going to make me sad and make me not want to do it and make me just, you know, reminisce on bad times and whichever way, but still. I hope you guys enjoyed either way. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.